It's umsum time. Hmm? Are canned uh, foods safe? Huh? No, just pizzas are safe. Oh, umsum. <laughs> Canning is basically a method in which food items are processed and then packed in airtight containers. This helps preserve food for longer periods. However, there are some disadvantages of canned foods. Firstly, canned foods can be high in sugar and salt, so they can pose a risk for people with high blood pressure, <laughs> diabetes, obesity, etc. Hmm. Secondly, most cans have a coating of bisphenol A to prevent corrosion. Studies suggest that bisphenol A can leak into the food and have negative huh? effects on our hormones and reproductive system. Hmm. Thirdly, the acids present in food can react with the metal can and produce hydrogen gas, creating bulges, thus making food unsafe to eat. Hmm. Lastly, improper canning process can lead to growth of dangerous bacteria called Clostridium botulinum. It produces a lethal toxin which, if consumed, can paralyze our muscles and cause death if left untreated. Hmm. Is expired food uh. safe to eat? No problemo. I'm as strong as Hulk. <laughs> oh, um some. Usually we see three types of dates on food products. Sell by, best by, and use by. Use by is what we call the expiry date. Consuming food past this date may prove to be harmful. Firstly, the nutritional value of the food will reduce. Secondly, as bacteria don't usually grow at low temperatures, many foods are frozen. But if foods are kept at room temperature, bacteria will develop in them. Now, if consumed, they can cause vomiting, diarrhea, food poisoning, etc. Thirdly, it is believed that when canned food expires, the acids present in food react with the metal can and produce hydrogen gas, creating bulges in the can and thus making the food unsafe to eat. So, expiry date is definitely a good indicator. But apart from that, we should also rely on our senses of smell and sight to check the quality of the food. Is fermented food good for us? No! French fries are the best for me! All right, oh. now listen. Fermentation is a process in which natural bacteria and yeast break down the sugar and starch present in the food, ah. producing lactic acid and other compounds. For decades, fermenting was a technique to preserve food. However, nowadays, fermented food is getting a lot of attention because of the benefits it provides. Firstly, as the fermented food is pre-digested or broken down by bacteria, these foods are easier for us to digest. Ah. Secondly, fermentation increases the nutritional value by producing beneficial enzymes and vitamins. Thirdly, as microorganisms break down lactose present in the food, lactose intolerant people can eat yogurt and other fermented mm. milk products. Lastly, Fermented foods contain probiotics, which are good or friendly bacteria. They improve our gut health, thus leading to a healthy immune system. Hmm. Is spicy food bad for you? Obviously, because whenever I eat spicy food, my mouth seems to be on fire. This is because spicy food generally contains chili peppers. Chili peppers have a chemical called capsaicin. When capsaicin comes in contact with our tongue, it activates the heat-sensing receptors instead of our taste buds. As a result, our brain thinks that our mouth is on fire. So, shall I call the fire brigade? Oh, just listen. Capsaicin present in spicy food is not necessarily bad for everybody. Only those people who have a low tolerance level or don't have a habit of eating spicy food can experience some problems like burning mouth, irritation of the stomach lining, heartburn, etc. Hmm. Why does airplane <laughs> food taste bad? I don't know. Wait, I'll explain. <laughs> Our ability to perceive taste is affected by a few factors such as humidity, air pressure, etc. In an airplane, the humidity is less as compared to that on the ground. This makes the air in the airplane quite dry. Mm. Also, to maintain the air pressure oh. inside and outside the airplane, the air pressure inside it is decreased. Decreased air huh? pressure and dry air dries our nose and mouth. Dry nose cannot properly smell odors. Yeah, dude, I'm not able to smell the burger. 
Now, smell of food helps us to understand the flavor and ingredients of the food. Thus, the food which we cannot smell properly appears hmm. unappealing. Also, dry mouth reduces the sensitivity of our taste buds. As a result, we cannot perceive the taste hmm. of food properly. Topic: Human Nose <laughs> Why does spicy food make your nose run? Because it is not that strong to make me run. <laughs> nah. Huh? Our nose consists of tiny hair and a sticky substance called mucus. Can I use this mucus to stick my broken vase? <laughs> Ooh, gross. Huh? Please don't do that mm. and listen. During breathing, the hair and mucus trap harmful substances, thus prohibiting them from entering deep inside the body. <laughs> huh? Now, spicy food items like chili, mustard, horseradish, and wasabi contain chemicals called capsaicin and allyl isothiocyanate. <laughs> when we eat such food items, the capsaicin and allyl isothiocyanate travel through the pharynx and reach our nose. Here, the chemicals activate the heat sensing receptors, thus causing inflammation in our nose and irritation of the mucus. <laughs> Hence, as a defense mechanism, more mucus is produced in our nose. <laughs> Why vultures don't huh? get food poisoning? Because they go to regular yoga practice. Nah. Huh? Vultures are generally scavengers. They eat decaying or rotting flesh oh. of dead animals. But any decaying substance has many harmful oh. microbes, which if consumed, can make an animal or a human sick, or even cause food poisoning. <laughs> However, vultures have a strong acid in their stomachs oh. that protects them from harmful microbes. But we also have acid in our stomachs, right? Indeed. But the acid in a vulture's stomach is much stronger than the acid ah. in a human stomach. It is so strong that the acid can even corrode certain metals. <laughs> Thus, when a vulture eats decaying or rotting flesh, the strong acid in its stomach destroys most of the microbes that can cause food poisoning and other health problems. Thus, keeping the vulture safe. Mm.